Welcome back, it's still Plus Politics, and we're moving to the next segment of our conversation. A former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fani Kayode, has come under harsh criticism from Nigerians over his verbal attack of a journalist in Cross River State during the press briefing. The incident was captured in a viral video showing Fani Kayode insulting the reporter, Ayo Charles, who had asked him who bankrolled his tour of projects in Cross River State and other states in the South South. Fani Kayode later took to Twitter to defend his action. However, the former minister has now stated that he regrets his verbal attack and has withdrawn the insult. Joining us to discuss this is the president of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, Mr. Chris Isiguzo. Good evening, President. Good evening. And to also join us in this conversation is Mr. Femi Lawson, a public affairs analyst, probably to get another angle away from what journalists and how journalists are feeling about this issue. So, Mr. Isiguzo, let me start with you. Um, a lot of things have been said. So many recommendations have been made to AUJ. Can we hear the official stand of NUJ over what happened? Uh, well, thank you very much for having me and your program. Uh, yesterday, I recall that we did issue a statement uh, where we clearly uh, condemned uh, the verbal uh, outburst of uh, the former aviation minister, Femi Fani Kayode, uh, where he clearly uh, uh, pilloried a journalist, and uh, that was a, a very bad one. And uh, immediately we demanded that uh, he should retract uh, the, 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 the remarks he made in that viral video and uh, also apologize uh, because there was no need for uh, that uh, tirade against the journalists and by extension, uh, the media family in the country. Uh, when he decided to embark on an, a tour of projects across the states in the country, uh, or, or, uh, normally he ought to have uh, uh, presented himself to account. You know, you cannot just wake up and begin to embark on projects. Under what auspices are you doing that? Under what platform are you doing that? Are you a, a supervisory agency of government? Are you a lawmaker on oversight function? Uh, we need to know all these details. And for a journalist to now ask him who is bankrolling your talk, because we understand that one cannot just wake up and begin to embark on tour, visit projects executed by states uh, without anything in mind. So there was nothing wrong with uh, going ahead to answer that uh, question. But rather than do that, he went on a rampage, uh, insulting, assaulting, abusing uh, the journalist. And uh, after the, we saw the video yesterday, we've also seen several other videos of uh, Femi Fani Kayode uh, insulting journalists. The same thing he did in Cross River, he actually did it in Guso, uh, Zanfara State, where a journalist asked him similar question. And instead of answering the question, he also went berserk, insulting the journalist describing his question as stupid and all that. Okay. We also saw another video where a journalist from UK called him and uh, asked him similar question. Instead of answering the question, same Femi Fani Kayode went on insulting uh, the journalist. This is uh, very terrible. This is very bad. This is unfortunate uh, for somebody of Femi Kayode's uh, status uh, to spew such uh, words against the media, and the same media that has virtually made him, the same media that he has relied on uh, to hold the government to account. Every other day, the same Femi Fani Kayode is insulting the president, insulting uh, those uh, occupying different positions of trust. But today, a journalist asked him question, and instead of answering, he went on insulting the person. So that's very bad. Of okay. course, from the AUJ, we condemned it, we condemned it, and we still do so, okay. uh, even though this morning he claimed to have uh, uh, apologized. Well, in the course of this discourse, I believe we'll still go to that. Okay, thank you so much. You just read my mind, and that tells me that you are indeed 
the president of NUJ, because I was going to say that we're coming to the apology part. But let me take the conversation to Femi Law Singh. Uh, Femi Law Singh, journalists have also interviewed you several times. Have you had experience where some way the journalist asked the question was quite rude, using his word? And how did you handle it? Femi Lawson, are you there? Hello, Femi Lawson, can you hear me? I think we'll look at that uh, connection. Oh, Femi Lawson, can you hear me now? Okay, we'll reconnect with you. Let me stay with uh, uh, the NUJ president. I, I, I haven't listened to that. Uh, some people would say that um, uh, the journalist may have used another word, but using the word bankroll, okay, we have Femi now. I, I want to take Femi's opening statement before we go back to president. Femi Lawson, can you hear me now? Okay, uh, we're here to connect with him. So uh, uh, this has to do with some kind of ethical practice because some people even move the blame game to other colleagues, all the journalists were, that were there. We even had people saying, uh, like the chairman of the NUJ in Lagos said that uh, other journalists should be punished for you know, begging or apologizing to FFK. Let me quickly get your comment on that in the next 30 seconds. Hopefully, Femi will be back then. Well, I think I first of all leave that to uh, Cross River State uh, Council of the Nigerian Union of Journalists because they know the uh, identities of those journalists that were present at the press conference. The leadership of the NUJ was not involved in the press conference, they were not invited. Mr. Femi Fani Kayode uh, simply chose those he needed to talk to and they visited him at the hotel, and he spoke to them, insulted them, and all that. So the AUJ was not involved. But uh, looking at the, the video, how uh, some of uh, the journalists were uh, virtually saying sorry for doing what? Uh, well, I leave it to our uh, council in Cross River. They know what to do. Uh, they know what the rules uh, are, and I know that they will follow that accordingly. OK. Uh, do we have Femi now back? Okay, still so staying with you, President. Uh, uh, let's also, uh, I'm trying to be, I don't want to use that word. I'm trying to imagine that Femi Fanny Kaode is there to explain. Now, he said he, he, he withdrew the word stupid, and he did say that uh, he's, he, he apologized and he has decided to move on. What more are we asking for as NUJ? Well, uh... Uh, he said he has apologized and he has moved on. I know that he needed to put that behind him so that he could continue uh, with his jamboree of uh, uh, Project Tour across the states, no doubt. Uh, but that what he, he posted on his uh, verified Twitter handle, uh, uh, to say the least, is not an apology. Uh, but all the same, we just have to also uh, 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 make progress. But one question remains unanswered. I felt that uh, it would have been nice uh, for Femi Fani Kayode to, uh, apart from uh, uh, expressing regrets uh, for the words he used in that press conference, one would have expected him to have taken out time uh, to explain, to answer the question uh, posed to him. The question is, who is bankrolling you? There is nothing wrong, there's nothing rude about that uh, question. Who is bankrolling you? You know what it means uh, to embark on a uh, project tour to visit states uh, from one state uh, to the other. I don't think Kayode uh, 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 has got the luxury of finance uh, to begin to throw away. If he has so much money, I believe he would channel them to more meaningful engagements. Uh, that's why the question becomes uh, very can, can we Can we use another synonym? You? And Nigerians are waiting for the answer to that question. Could, 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 could the journalist use another synonym at least to get the question answered? Maybe, who is sponsoring this project? Who is sponsoring this store? Why use the word bankroll? Bankroll, according to him, sounds like I'm a pauper. I have nothing to offer. And somebody's got to sponsor me. Can we use another word just for us to get the answers, right? 
Oh, well, I want to I want to also tell you that in Guso Zamfara State, a journalist asked him the same question differently. Okay. And the same coyote insulted the journalists hmm. that asked him a question. He, he started uh, around the saying such words as he's been in politics for 30 years, he's not a poor man, and blah, blah, blah. Well, no matter the words you decide to use uh, in ask, asking the question, I can assure you that Femi Fani Kayode is not ready to subject himself to account. He must be ready to do that. There's no reason for him to begin to ask journalists, do you know who I am? Do you know this? I'm a lawyer. I'm a former minister, former presidential spokesman, blah, blah, blah. Those things were not necessary. The question was direct. It was simple. Who is bankrolling you? Perhaps he wanted somebody to say who is funding you or who is sponsoring you. All of them mean the same thing. Who is bankrolling you? Who are you working for? What's the essence of this your talk your voice. across the country? Your Have voice. you now become the, 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 the journalist? Have you become the lawmaker? Have you become an investigative agency? Are you the one providing funds for the state that you begin to embark on tour? When you go there, we Chris, also see governors roll out Chris, the drums. Your voice is sounding and all that. Your voice is sounding like the language you are used to. I stand by my story. Thank you so much. But let me go back to Femi Lawson. <laughs> I think we have him back. Femi, uh, network has not been very friendly with you. Do we have you back now? Hello, Femi Lawson. Can we hear you now? Maybe we may have to do a phone call so that we quickly get your comment on this. But let me go back to Chris. Chris, as we speak, we are looking at um, how this thing affects our profession, how this thing affects journalists. People believe that for journalists to be cowed, for journalists to be so scared, that it has something to do with our integrity. And it seems we've lost our self-respect. That those men still allow him to finish the, the press briefing. Now we're seeing a lot of people saying, let us blacklist him. Should we also go, you know, go that route or we still continue to do our job without being, you know, intimidated? Well, I can assure you that you are not intimidated. Uh, no matter what the Kayade and his likes decide to do, I can assure you that the media we are not going to be cowed. Nobody is going to pigeonhole us. We will continue to do our jobs. Well, uh, we are still looking at the, 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 the apology, so to speak, that he tendered. Uh, we are reviewing it, and we are going to place it side by side, his antecedents, uh, as regards relationship with the media. We are going to look at the viral videos that we already have. We have uh, about five, six of them. We are going to review them, and the committee is going to virtually, uh, eventually look at the whole thing. And if it becomes necessary uh, to go a step further, I can assure you we will do that. Because we cannot allow this to continue. The incessant intimidation, uh, harassment, uh, clamp down uh, from the security operatives, it does appear it's no longer enough. The political actors have joined the fray to the point of kind journalists that, have, that you invited, they didn't invite themselves. Hmm. You've been in the state for, for days, and you are almost uh, ending your tour of Cross River. You invited journalists to talk to them. Then you are not ready to take questions from them. That's not a good one. Okay. But I can assure him that journalists are not intimidated. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Chris is Siguzo, the national president of Nigerian Union of Journalists. Thank you for your time, thank you for what you say. I'll keep up with NUJ to see what next they will do on this issue. Thank you so much. Thank you, my pleasure. Yeah, plus politics. Before we go, we'll take a short break, then I'll be giving you my take. Please don't go anywhere. My take, call it my position, is easy to predict. It is, of course, a strong condemnation to everything Femi Fani Kayode said. Indeed, doesn't it call for questioning when an individual just decided to go on a tour of facilities or projects in a region? 
Maybe Mr. Fanny Kaude should remind me when such philanthropic gesture was carried out. Maybe he should remind us what gave him a strong conviction that Governor Ben Ayade is indispensable and should not be disrespected in PDP. I say again, who is sponsoring the tour? I choose to avoid the word bankrolling. Maybe that will elicit answers and not verbal attack. FFK, as we fondly call you, may I remind you that this question is yet to be answered. As you continue your tour in the region, please provide us with answers so that we can move on, even if you refuse to genuinely apologize. And that's my take tonight. I remain yours truly, Coyote Ladende. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time, on the same station. And bye for now.